Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kom Yasa Allah, Koholoyim La. Yehawah Bashmi Awashai, Bahashem Rechah HaKadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yehawah Bahashem, Yehawah Shai, to the best of their ability. Um, in the greeting, I said in the Hebrew tongue, Paleo Hebrew tongue, Koholoyim La, which is all praises to Yahweh, which the world calls the Most High. They call him God, these different names, but his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one in the Paleo Hebrew, Bahashem, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And the Rakhachodash, that is the Holy Spirit. And like to you know bring that out here and there because a lot of people don't know the true names of the father and son and you know us saying that and a new new person listening to the video can be like well, what is he saying you know so that's pretty much what i said all praises to the most high you know in the name of his son you know um so just wanted to touch on this particular article it says man who waited 12 years for a heart transplant dies after being denied medication in jail for a neighbor dispute. See? So when I seen that and I started to read through the story, it's just like, you know, what comes to mind is our people trust in the so-called white man, his his medication, his um, technology, his science. And I'm sure this guy probably was praying. Who knows? He could have been praying. But if he was praying, he was praying to the idol white Jesus. Because there's no letter J's in Hebrew. There's no letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. And the letter J was invented in 1524, like 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked 2000 years ago, you know, they wasn't calling him Jesus because the letter didn't exist. And a lot of our people are caught up into white Jesus plantation Christianity and they pray to the so-called white man. They, they look to this man for their, all their needs, all their you know wants and things of that nature. So this man went through all that and the Lord still, <laughs> you know, knocked him off because the Lord is in control of who lives and who dies. It's that simple, man. Well, let's see. I'm not sure if this will play, but if not, I'll read through a little bit of the story. And the comments are even crazier, you know. Ah, Salaki. I mean, did not mean to do that. Damn Puma commercial. I don't see no goddamn Puma. Take rejection message for my heart transplant. Okay. I can't miss no doses. My message costs two thousand dollars, bro. If something happened to me because my heart is gonna be a problem. Well, because I wait twenty seven months to get that my blood type. Okay, well just make sure you tell them. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell them everything. I didn't put my hands no, on. No, so so you're confusing assault for battery. Battery is physical contact. Assault is a threat by words to cause harm, causing fear. See, and there you have it. Now, this is Esau Edom's kingdom and his land and this, the things that he stole. And he, uh, he has set up these police officers. At, basically, they started from being slave catchers. Now, all of a sudden, it's just they're this, this global people that, that have these badges and guns on your taxpayers' money, able to come and pick you up and tell you about what you've done wrong, when in reality, your whole country was stolen on wrong. You know. But anyway, that's another lesson. All right. But it says a man who waited 12 years for a heart transplant has died after he was detained, after he was denied medication during a stint in jail following a dispute with a neighbor. Dexter Berry, 54, met dozens of doctors, underwent intricate, intricate procedures and even moved to different states in his efforts to improve his health, according to the tributary. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like he done all this and still didn't know that, you know. The Lord is in control of life and death, man. And, and, and the Lord knocked his ass off in a real sweet way. That's why I say, man, it's so important to, you know, um, repent and, you know, just repent because of the situation that's about to go down in the future with, you know, this nuclear fire and his second death. But I'm saying on the strength of you have to have a healthy fear of Yahweh about Shimei Shai because he can he can knock you off in any kind of way that he want. And when I be reading the news, I you know, I go into a lot of these stories. I like, you know, these scriptures. They, they uh, it's just some about them that's just so amazing because it lets you know how the Lord really gets down. 
And it's stuff that was never taught to me when I was going to the Christian church. They didn't tell me that the Lord was out here killing people. They didn't tell me that it's the Lord that's, you know, in control of who lives and who dies. They, you know, they were telling, telling me, had me believing that, you know, it's some red guy with the spandex suit on with the pitchfork, you know, devil. And he's running around out here just doing what he wants to do. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a spiritual demon, Satan. But it's not what these these um, Christian churches are pushing on the people. You know, all that. Those are stories. Those are just fables, man. You, you might, That's some Disney shit. <laughs> Straight up. It says, uh, but yeah, to have a healthy fear of the Lord, because the Lord can, you think this man would, have, first off, the Lord had him to the, to the point of, in a situation of, he even needed a heart transplant. That's powerful in itself. Then once he gets it, he loses his life to some, some simple shit like this, man. <laughs> hey, that's, that's the Lord, man. It says, Mr. Barry's neighbor called the emergency services in November, claiming that the 54-year-old had said he would beat him up. Now, here you go. You can barely, you just get, you know, your ass out here need a whole new heart. And and, and you talking about beating people up. <laughs> it says, and, and that's why it's important to the scriptures talks about, you know, controlling your anger. Just letting the Lord handle stuff, man. Not taking vengeance into your own hand. Not doing evil for evil. Let the Lord handle it. You know, you gotta, you have to have, you know, the, the scripture talks about um, being angry and sin not. You have to just, you know, take the L, take the low sometimes. Cause had he take, had he just been like, you know what, I'm just fuck it, man. You know, this, this, you know, whatever the neighbor may have been like, I'm just not gonna deal with him. You know, if I see him, I see him. If I don't, I don't. But, you know, you don't even have to deal with people like that. You know, I'm gonna leave it alone. It says Mr. Barry's neighbor called the emergency services in November, claiming the 54 year old had said he would beat him up following a dispute regarding Wi-Fi access, which had lasted weeks. Wi-Fi access, bro. Come on, man. No fight ever took place, but Mr. Barry was arrested on the charge of simple assault. And that's America. This hey, America is a money-making machine when it comes to throwing people in jail, man. Mr. Barry told a Jacksonville, Florida officer as many as seven times that he needed his medication every day, according to the outlet citing body cam footage. The following morning, he told the judge in his case the same thing. A court transcript shows I am on medication, Mr. Berry said. I just had a heart transplant. I haven't taken my medicine all day since I've been locked up and I take rejection medicate medicines for my heart. So my heart won't reject it. And I'm almost two years out. OK, the judge said Mr. Berry died on November 23rd last year. A lawyer for his family and his son told the tributary that he never got access to his medication. Records from jail will likely show they made a note of it. Attorney Andrew Bondura told the outlet JSO recognized it's an extremely expensive medication and how disgusting if it turns out that this was a business decision for the JSO, that they would rather not pay for the medication. They would rather risk death over business over a business decision. It's one of the most outrageous cases I've ever seen in the city JSO misconduct. Both the lawyers and the family argues the issue that led to Mr. Barry's death are systematic. The body cam footage shows Mr. Barry on 18 on November 18th last year speaking to an officer. My medicine costs two thousand dollars. I go to Mayo for my medicine, he said. The officer said he he'd be able to get his medication in jail. If something happens to me because of my heart, there's going to be a problem. Now, hey, the problem is, hey, well, shit your ass out of here. If anything, the taxpayers were going to have to pay for a lawsuit. It says, just make sure you tell them, the officer replied. Yeah, I'm going to tell them, Mr. Berry said. Mr. Bundera told Fox, told News 4 Jax that Mr. Berry was doing great. As recently as the spring 2022, he had a checkup where they actually um, biopsied his transplanted heart and it was healthy, stable heart. He was taking his medication like he should three times a day. And then November rolls around and he had a dispute with the neighbor. He added, I didn't put my hands on him. Mr. Barry said about the dispute to the officer. You're confusing assault with battery. Of course, that's what we say in any video. It says after the bond was set at five hundred and three dollars, man, Barry, Mr. Barry was left. Mr. Barry left the jail on Sunday. His son, Dexter Barry Jr. told. Um, the news, he didn't sound like himself that Monday when I spoke to him. You could hear 
a shortness of breath and his words were, were jumbled like his body was starting to shut down. He added, saying that his father passed away three days after arriving at the hospital. If he had been convicted, Mr. Berry would have faced 60 days in jail at most. Wow. And there's people out here running around out here, man, doing all kinds of shit and never even go to jail. Never even go to jail. Embezzle billions of millions of dollars. Motherfuckers out here, oil spills and fucked up, just all kinds of stuff. You know, just all manner of stuff, man. Don't go to jail at all, bro. Don't go to jail at all, bro. It's like the little, little Jake got shot for ringing the wrong doorbell. They decide later on to arrest this man after, you know, the outcry, you know, stuff like that. It's all kinds of stuff that goes on. But that lets you know that the Lord, he's in control of all individual um, activity, man. He's in control. Well, let's get a quick scripture real quick. The Lord is in control, man. This man, he done all that. He ran in behind all of Esau's science. Finally got what he wanted and the Lord knocked him right on off. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, that's the Lord, man. The Lord wounded him with a bad heart to begin with. Then the Lord healed him and then the Lord gave him death, man. And who knows? His bro he probably ran across some of the um the brothers, you know, um on the highways and byways, argued about white Jesus is the man and all this other stuff. So who knows? That's just me just speaking as a man. Well, let's get um and these are common scriptures, but they don't come out in a Christian church. And um you Negroes, you so called black preachers that's teaching our people about idolatrous white Jesus, man, y'all got a judgment coming to you. Because you know the Lord is not some white guy. You're not teaching the true gospel. You're not telling the people who they really are. It's just a money grab. This is um, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See? That was the Lord, man, that set him up like that. Over a simple argument. No hands being, no blows being thrown, nothing. Simple argument. A person can say, well, he assaulted me. You know, he said this, 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 and this. They didn't say that they had no proof of it. You know, they ain't say, well, yeah, we seen you on camera doing that, you know. Because generally, the only time some charges can be pressed really is somebody, you know what I'm saying, you know, getting down on you, putting hands on you. But I guess laws are different in certain states, you know what I'm saying. And, and it's just, you know, America's just weird like that anyway. It's a real weird place, man. It's ran by wicked ass people, so you can't expect no better. But this is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? See, the Lord is in control of, of, of all things, man. He's in control of all things. Now, let's get this. Let's go back to Isaiah, though. This one comes to mind. Uh, that's not the one I want. Isaiah uh, 31, right? It says, woe to them. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And Egypt, you know, basically is, is synonymous with America. Spiritual Egypt. America is science. You know, it's technology. You know, they, they you know, they, they, they're out here. Got people got everybody medicated, man. Not curing shit. But got everybody out here medicated. When you think about it, people, they taking medication for every goddamn thing, man. Everything. They cause the problem and then tell you, you know, come and take this medication that's going to give you seven more problems. It's incredible. It says, woe to them. They go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. See, our people don't seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They go to the oppressor. They go to their oppressor. They trust in the so-called white man, his science, his ability to so-called heal. When this man is only treating you, he's not, you know, healing you. You ain't got people coming back week after week after week after week after week after week all their lives to get medication. 
And then there's some people, man, they got so many goddamn medications, you know, sitting on their nightstand or in the bathroom in a medicine cabinet. There is a such thing as a medicine cabinet in your bathroom behind the mirror. <laughs> when you, when you, I never really thought about that, man. You open up the fucking mirror after seeing yourself up. Oh, here is the back, you know, let's go on. Let, let, let's go on to it's, called, it's actually called a medicine cabinet. You go into the medicine cabinet, got all kinds of shit. People been taking for years and they trust in it. They they will never give it up. They will never try anything other than what the so-called white man is telling them. They could they could they could see all the evidence in the world that there are certain fruits, vegetables, you know, certain herbs, this, 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 and this that could cure that, you know, but they're not gonna go. They they're, they're still gonna trust in the so-called white man's um made up shit in his laboratory. Now I'm not saying you know on a, I'm I'm not I'm not a medical person. I'm just saying that we know that for a fact this this man's not. Come on man. There's a lot of treatments going on but I you know as far as healings hey because the, the scripture says it's the Lord that heals them and, and and wounds man. But they don't our people don't go to the um the holy one of um Israel. They don't seek the Lord. They trust in their oppressor. Like it's crazy, man. Well, like I said again, hey, this this should give you a healthy fear of the Lord because that man went through all that twelve years. You know the procedures and processes that you got to go through, man, to to get a fucking heart, and then uh, the cost of the um, uh, 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 you know, the cost of the 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 actual operation. The man said that the pills is two thousand dollars. He probably like probably getting about what. 10, 15 tablets, you know, for that $2,000. If that, that's an expensive fucking pill, man. You see what I'm saying? He goes through all that, bro, and go to jail over five, and his bail is only $500. You think somebody would have came and paid that shit immediately and, and, and helped him out, man. Here you go, you spending $2,000 on medication every time you go or pop, every time you go get it, but can't Nobody can come five hundred and three dollars. So they let you know, man, that's the Lord that set all that up. You can't make it up. There's no way that something can go like that. Hey, look, the Lord is 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 is, is calculative, uh, uh, calculative, terrible, if that's a word, man. The terror of the Lord amongst men, man, is 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 great, man. And, and the Lord is about to get down too. Hey, he's about to really. You know, he's already doing it, but it's going to be on a scale where people are going to be afraid for real, man. People are going to bow and really worship the Lord. Yahweh by Shem man. They're going to see that he is the one that created all things. And when they see this, they, they, people are not prepared for the type of power that the Lord is about to show in this planet, man. They're not prepared for it at all. And it's going to throw them all off and it's going to be perfectly calculated. Like I said, the Lord is calculated, man. For real, he's calculated. You know the type of calculations that you got to put together for this man to first off be born 54 years ago. He's going through school. He's every step of his way, every class he went to, you know, every lunch in the cafeteria. He's all out on the, you know, on a basketball court, you know, possibly, you know, just his whole stint. Every ass whooping he ever got, you know, the school bully whooping his ass all the way through. All the way through his years, the Lord calculated all that up to the point of him dying the way that he died, man. <laughs> hey, the Lord, I'm telling you, man, that's that that's that's why I, I, I get so fascinated when I read these stories, because it, it, it you think into it and it's like, wow, the Lord done that. Because he's in control of all things. He created spirits for vengeance. People take for granted for what they, they look around and you see, man, when you look, just look around you. Everything that you see around you, it don't make no difference. Where the hell you at? You could be in the bathroom right now listening to this lesson. You could be in the kitchen. You can just be looking out the window. You can just be peering out into the skies. Everything that you see around you, the Lord created, man. It comes from elements that he He put together. We ain't going to even get to talking about stuff like the sun, the moon, the stars, just the earth in general, man. You know how powerful you had to, man. And then here we go, just mere mortals running around out here proud as hell.
don't know what's going to happen in the next five seconds. Because I'm willing to bet you this guy was probably, you know, he was probably going out taking his walks. Slightly just getting into his motion again. You know, probably was happy about things. Probably had a little woman on the side. You know, he's finally like, man, finally, I get some peace, man. I've been worried about this for so long. Then all of a sudden, whew, man, y'all better repent, man. That's best I can tell you on that one. But with that, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end out. I just wanted to touch on this, man. Just realize that the Lord is all powerful. He's in control of all things. And if you're going to be praying, you need to be praying to him. You see? And there's another scripture, too, that... uh. Can't think of that one king's name. But he basically, he trusted in the physician, man. He trusted in the physician. Let me see. It's been a minute on that one. Yeah, it's a lucky. I may not be able to find it, but hey, yeah, it's a good one though, right here. Job 13 and 4. But ye are forges of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. These people are, are you know, these, you know, these doctors, which basically that word doctor, you know, can go off into falsehood because you can doctor something. You know, you can doctor a, a document. You can forge something, you know, basically. Because nobody is really being, it, it's too much of a moneymaker with these these pill companies. And you can see a lot of these states have been suing the shit out of these companies, man. For for, for opioid um, um, uh, abuse, so to speak, man. It's nothing to them, man, because it's just all about money. Well, this is it right here, I think. Yeah, Second Chronicles um, 16 and 12. That's what it was. It says, And Asa, in the 30, 30 and ninth year of his reign, was diseased in his feet, until his disease was exceeding great. Yet in his disease he sought not the Lord, but to the physicians. <laughs> Let me go into that, man. God, God, that's the spirit. It says, And Asa slept with his fathers and died in, one, died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. Let me see what they got before that. Yep. I mean, that's the point right there. Let me get it back again. I'm going to read it in the NLT or the CSB. It says in the 39th year of his reign, Assad developed a disease in his feet and his disease became increasingly severe. Yet even in his disease, he didn't seek the Lord, but only the physicians. See, because even if you go, it's nothing wrong with a physician. But if you go into a physician. You should be praying to the Lord first because it's going to be the Lord overall that he's the one that heals. It's going to be him. You 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 should at least acknowledge the real true doctor, so to speak, or the creator. The creator knows what needs to be done. You know. He can, you know, direct you to just eat a certain type of food or something or, you know, drink certain types of juices or, you know, a ointment or, you know, something to, you know. Because when you're dealing with these damn doctors, you actually want to pray to the Lord, even about a, a, a decent doctor. Because he's, <laughs> you know, because these people don't, re they don't care, man. They're physicians of no value, man. Because if they really cared, how, how could a medicine cost that much money? Because it's money to be made, man. Because they, see, they understand that people... They want to live. They want to live. People will strive to survive and live, man. And, and a lot of people, they really think that they're just going to live forever. They, I, I, I don't get it. You know, they, they never stop to say, because this guy was in his 50s, man. 55. You, you thinking with a heart transplant, you got to, you know, you could possibly have a, a, a nice two decades or so more, you know. He could have, you know, 65, 75, you know, I mean, generally in America, man, just with just the shit that we breathing, drinking, eating, the, the, the lifespan here is zip, is nothing, man. It's just a shadow. The scriptures even talks about that. So it's like once you get to a certain age, even as a young person, you should be thinking like, well, wow, man, what happens once you die? Well, you know, what happens once you 
you know, our people don't think about stuff like that, man. They just da 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 da. They go about like ah, 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 you know, and do all the same old shit every day that they do until disaster strikes, and that's when it's all oh Lord, oh Lord. Then now they 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 praying to sweet white baby Jesus, a damn idol, and the Lord just sitting back laughing. If the scripture talks about he'll laugh at your calamity. And the Lord probably hey, laughing at this dude's calamity. Because when you really think about it, it's actually kind of funny. I mean, it's serious. But you're like, God damn, you went through all that to die like that. That's a movie script. Hey, that, that's a little bit comical. Straight up, man. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. Hey, depend on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Call on the name of Yahweh and the name of his son Yahweh Shai, man. Because he's the one that's in control of every single sipping breath you take. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.